Hello, this is World University and Schools News and Question and Answer on Monday, June 6th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Pacific time in the San Francisco Bay Area. Thank you for joining us. And as we wait to see if people will join us further at uh, this Zoom video conference, open question and answer, uh, I'd like to share a little news with you. So very glad that World University and Schools migration journey to Wikibase Cloud and potentially creating 200 world-class online libraries, as well as 200 world-class online cc4ocw.mit.edu-centric universities is occurring. And this would occur in all 200 countries and in their main and official languages as well. So the wikibase.cloud migration journey for world university and school creates potentially uh, collections as um, the management software, wikibase cloud is the management software in some ways for Wikidata, which is the backend structured knowledge database uh, for in 300 languages and that Wikipedia uses as well, and which World University and School is seeking to grow in, not only for these 200 world-class online libraries in countries' main languages, perhaps collaborating with national libraries, but also uh, potentially in World University and School coding for all 7.9 billion people in the planet. And uh, in all 200 countries and for speakers of all 7,151 known living languages and in planning to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, we'd like to facilitate open wiki teaching and learning uh, people to people that would grow in their communities online at World University and Schools wiki subject pages. So anyone can create a wiki subject page in a subject they love, academic or um, creative, and then begin to teach to it, teach to YouTube or similar. So that's the um, First bit of news I'd like to share with you, the WS migration journey to wikibase.cloud, which uh, may uh, be delayed yet a little further in that World University and School and Seeking to Code for all 7.9 billion people, for example, there may be many, many reasons why it's being delayed uh, for different organizations. But in World University and Schools seeking to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet and potentially for speakers of all 7,151 known living languages, each a wiki school and wikibase.cloud and wikidata are in 300 languages that leads leaves about uh, 6,900 more languages to go, uh, which World University and School will seek to facilitate. So this may take some time further. Uh, at this point, you can wiki teach already to the roughly 730 wiki subject pages, almost all in English presently, at World University and School's wikis. Uh, give it a try. Uh, either edit a page or send me something you think might be interesting to add, for example, by retweeting it or similar. So further news. Um, the first item is we're continuing to 
seek to offer online free degrees beginning uh, September 1st, 2022 at the bachelor and PhD levels. And at the PhD level, we're seeking to begin with uh, a management major for a PhD, possibly taking seven years online from home, and a sociology minor. And at the undergraduate for a free to students bachelor's degree, possibly taking four years, uh, you can potentially matriculate into World University and School, for example, even beginning right now, with the CS First with Google at World University and School course, which is also CC4 licensed, Creative Commons 4 licensed, like CC4 licensed ocw.mit.edu, which says one, any organization can share that uh, the CS first, computer science first with Google um, resources. Two, uh, anyone can adapt them. We could add CS first with Google uh, resources to new artificial intelligence, for example, in another language, for example, uh, I think, according to this licensing. And But three, non-commercially. And in doing so, uh, World University and School is seeking to potentially in the, um, with Google Education and Google uh, Workspace for Education, which World University and School has been in for uh, maybe seven or eight years now, uh, to seek uh, reimbursement from all 200 countries' departments of education, uh, and potentially even at the county level in all 200 countries. So Japan's counties, and uh, um, for example, um, Russia's counties potentially, China's counties, if there's a county system in China. Two, um, and I'm encapsulating the minutes from monthly business meeting here in this WS news and question and answer on June 6, 2022. I'm encapsulating the monthly business meeting minutes from 5-21-22, a couple of weeks ago, which were sent out last, end of last week, beginning of June. Uh, two, so open targets is for uh, genetic drugs in the Google Cloud with a Cambridge University team that seeks to create information technologies for potentially new genetic drugs, new molecules even, with regard to um, an online uh, computational environment. And where World University and School seeks to uh, potentially collaborate or interoperate with this is in seeking to create a realistic virtual earth for genetics. Think Google Street View with time slider maps, earth, TensorFlow AI, uh, translate avatar bot electronic medical records for 7.9 billion people and at the cellular and molecular levels too, as well as the street view level, the phenotype level. Uh, minute three, I've mentioned already that it's momentous that World University and School is in this <coughs> migration journey to wikibase.cloud. And furthermore, for example, that, that uh, wikibase.cloud may have uh, developed in successful phase to be able to make the German National Library available online through wikibase.cloud with um, Wikidata as a backend structured knowledge database. I imagine primarily in German, but extensible to potentially all of the 300 languages that Wikidata is in. And What's momentous for World University and School potentially is 
creating online world-class libraries potentially with this structure from the German National Library, say for the United States, potentially working with possibly the Library of Congress, say for Ghana, uh, in its 11 government-sponsored languages, for example, also for India in its 22 scheduled or official languages, uh, for example, in Uganda and Japan with its national library, potentially, World University and School would like to facilitate these world-class online libraries. This is very momentous um, and is potentially newly possible because of World University and School's uh, migration journey to wikibase.cloud, which has reached a, a phase of completion uh, such that uh, potentially it will be adaptable by, for 200 countries, world-class university libraries that World University and School is seeking to collaborate with or to, to facilitate. Minute four, um, Uganda World University and School Developments and online, an online medical school and, online, and an online teaching hospital and for clinical trials, research trials, uh, also of drugs, for example, uh, World University and School is seeking to collaborate, explore further possible collaborations um, in creating a Uganda World University and School um, in these regards, and uh, potentially in the Google Street View with time slider environment. So if we can begin to create a medical school and online teaching hospital, for example, in California, in Google Street View with Time Slider, with Avatar Bot Electronic Medical Records and WUAS, uh, WUS Longevity Genetics Institute, uh, even for physical digital uh, experiments and also regarding uh, aging reversal, um, research, I think Google Street View with time slider, uh, slide the time slider back and all in Uganda as well, or uh, longevity research, I uh, think Google Street View with time slider, slide, slide the time slider forward for, with genetics, uh, with genetic drugs, uh, with genetic experiments, potentially even uh, with uh, six species that World University and School is currently exploring, developing these this WS Longevity Genetics Institute with both in Uganda and in the United States in Google Street View with Time Slider, the six species being humans, dogs, uh, mice, chickens, uh, honeybees, and Drosophila flies. Uh, this is something we would like to facilitate uh, in a Uganda medical school with online teaching hospital and for this potential genetics research in Google Street View with Time Slider conceptually at the cellular and molecular levels too. Item five, um, Minute five, WS career development. There's a career counseling wiki subject page at World University and School. You can go to the subjects wiki subject page and find search on the career counseling and uh, begin to explore that. There are a few CC4 OCW.MIT.edu courses, for example, but the wiki side potentially will open up all kinds of opportunities for interesting thinking and teaching from the web, from YouTubes, from websites, uh, but also World University and School would seek to facilitate career counseling, even with artificial intelligence and potentially AI bots uh, that would be conversational and interactive uh, and that would also potentially World in World University and Schools seeking to hire 2.3 million people about the size of Walmart over decades uh, be helpful here. But this is an open career counseling wiki subject page. So 
uh, many people will be able to teach to it. Many people will be able to learn from it and uh, potentially grow this idea of career counseling in this new information technology age that we are living through. Item six, um, World University and School is seeking to develop a smartphone application computer program, potentially for uh, free cc4ocw.mit.edu centric world university and school courses for credit. So an app where students would be able to study a ocw.mit.edu course from uh, their smartphone, from their country, from their home, uh, first in English, but then in all other languages. Uh, just as an aside, ocw.mit.edu's translated courses have uh, recently gotten a new URL, something like ocwaprende.edu, I think. And there are now six additional languages at ocw.aprende.edu uh, for translated courses from ocw.mit.edu, where just a few weeks ago, there were three additional languages to English. So perhaps World University and Schools apps would seek to facilitate courses that emerge from cc4ocw.mit.edu that then get posted to ocw.aprende.edu in another language, translated, a big, a big project, especially for books and online, um, uh, all kinds of online resources, proding, programming, uh, coding languages, things like that. Um, so that many, many uh, degrees, uh, courses for credit would emerge with this app in many languages. Seven, um, World University and School is continuing to explore developing robotics for WUAS home robotics. And one question here is, could Toyota Robotics and Lego Education Robotics plan for and co-create a modular humanoid robot over even the next 100 years. And from little and big Lego bricks, and for students learning from home, and all kinds of uh, learning and coding of such humanoid robots that would be creations out of Lego robotics and Toyota robotics uh, by many people, if that might be possible. There's an amazing set of opportunities with uh, humanoid robots uh, in all 200 countries, in all their main languages, and for creatively coding them and creating them modular robotics. And out of the Lego brick standard uh, will become versatile or helpful or usable in 10, 20, 50, 75, 100 years if they are modular. Whereas I think many robot creations, which are time intensive and material science intensive these days, uh, will become uh, antiquated and um, uh, not useful five or 10 years from now, not easily modular. Of course, all of that other robotics explorations that universities and companies are doing uh, will go on, but the possibility of a modular human robot emerging out of Lego education robotics, um, Lego bricks with Toyota robotics for also perhaps their master maneuvering system uh, in a chair where a human uh, can begin to code the robot the human is communicating within their chair in new ways. Uh, item eight, um, how could World University and School introduce 
humanoid robots around university campuses in the US. And for example, even in a realistic virtual universe, a realistic virtual earth for robotics, a realistic virtual earth for Lego robotics, a realistic virtual earth for Lego, all of which are Twitter hashtags. Um, and as a conversation between physical humanoid robots and digital or virtual humanoid robots in these realistic virtual earth environments on university campuses. So could we provide Lego robotics um, even with developing bricks, Lego bricks, small and large, that were also solar collectors. <laughs> the bricks themselves were 3D printable solar uh, energy sources um, that would become much more efficient in 10 years or 20 years or 50 years. With all university campuses working with this possible standard to create humanoid robots, uh, World University and School could potentially create a remarkable set of developments. World University, the WS Corporation is uh, an authorized carrier of Lego robotics, three Lego robotics kits at this point in the US. And I think online, we're seeking to grow this further. Item nine, uh, how could World University and School engage great geneticists uh, genetics professors and similar to build out a realistic virtual earth for genetics. So think again, Google Street View with Time Slider, Maps Earth, TensorFlow AI, Translate. Uh, similarly for a realistic virtual earth for robotics, think Google Street View with Time Slider. Item uh, minute 10, um, if you're a WAS matriculated student interested in transferring to other schools, see the new language on worlduniversityandschool.org. And not only uh, if you're interested, might you find a school that you were interested in and then apply to it, but there are people, individuals at these schools who welcome transfer students. So seek out the individuals as well. Item 11, uh, WUS is retracting the 10% fundraising letter, uh, e.g. see item seven uh, in a WS minutes from April, 2022. Uh, this is minute 11 in the 521-22 minutes. I, at minute 12, um, World University and School is ongoingly seeking to facilitate real real-time music making. And could this be done via a smartphone beyond H plus, high definition plus, which could be 3G and beyond LTE, uh, long-term evolution, which could be corresponding to 4G and beyond the upside down, teardrop of Google Street View with TensorFlow, sorry, with um, Map, with uh, Time Slider, with uh, uh, Maps and TensorFlow AI, uh, even potentially in Google Street View with, with video. Uh, in what ways could um, World University and School possibly facilitate real real-time music making through the upside down teardrop, which might uh, be able to get a Google Maps signal with very, very low um, signal capabilities, internet capabilities or internet transmission in a remote rural area, or which might be able to uh, focus the development of 10G or 20G or real real-time music making for, for example, crashes of autonomous vehicles when all the internet connectivity uh, that's possible might be very, very important. Or for flying, think the Jetsons or think uh, 
Google X creativity with new flying machines uh, using Google Street View with Time Slider Maps Earth as its flight control system and working also with already federal aviation and other aviation systems, flight control systems, even in space. Item minute 13, uh, World University and School has a new YouTube channel, uh, which is also newly named youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University, no underscores or anything. Minute 14, how will World University and School uh, being in Google My Business uh, be able to, which is uh, mostly, as I see it right now, a social media site, potentially with TensorFlow AI, but uh, begin to grow both for our world university and schools, academic press with machine translation for all kinds of translation of all 7,151 languages, also in GDocs and GTranslate, and for even publishing to paper, both in the educational services bookstore and robotics stores. And how could Google My Business also help facilitate uh, World University be not being an authorized carrier of three, three Lego robotics kits, uh, potentially growing to all 200 countries, both physically and digitally? And for on the academic side, WUAS Home Robotics. So Google My Business and uh, growing World University and School on the academic side primarily. Uh, minute 15, uh, World the WS financial reports for both wings and what's ahead. Um, we are two wings. World University and School is two legal entities and the WS Corporation is one legal entity. Both have separate financial reports and we're adrift. We've cast off in a sailing sense uh, after around 15 or 16 years now. Uh, so glad that we've recently uh, filled out a new Form 199 for the year 2019 with the California Franchise Tax Board for our legal entity in California for the nonprofit. This is the first full form that World University and School has filled out. And on this form are interesting new possibilities for World University and School. Thanks very much to Larry Vieland for helping fill out this form. And we're, World University and School is making progress uh, if uh, financial growth is slow so far. Uh, hoping to begin to hire, for example, and begin to grow our student bodies, both in California, in all 53 counties of California, I think there are, and from all 200 countries with students, first in English. Minute 16, uh, Ghana World University and School for free to students uh, degrees. We've been in touch a little bit with a uh, Wikimedian, Mohammed Sadat, Abdullah, I think it's his name from Ghana, whose first language is the Dagbani language. And we're exploring potentially using uh, creating Ghana World University and School in the Dagbani language uh, as even a prototype for World University and Schools for free degrees, bachelor's, PhD, law, medicine, and Ivy High School in countries' main languages. So Ghana has 11 government sponsored languages. Could we use the Ghana World University and School in the Dagbani language as a prototype for those other 10 languages in Ghana, in West Africa, and also uh, for maybe a California World University and School, and also for the 22 official or scheduled languages in 
India, for example. So Ghana World University and School uh, could begin to grow thanks to Wikimedian uh, Muhammad Sadat and potentially in with a whole Dagbani language community that I've seen on Twitter. Item minute 17, uh, world university and schools, university libraries. See minute th three again about the WS migration journey to Wikibase Cloud, cited for potential to grow into 200 countries, world-class online universities. Minute 18, a WS academic medical center and world university and schools, medical schools, teaching hospitals and longevity genetics institute in California, in Ghana, in Cameroon, Africa, and Uganda. Uh, center these developments in Google Street View with Time Slider for both, for example, a realistic virtual earth for surgery, I think Google Street View with Time Slider, as well as a realistic virtual earth for genetics. And regarding WS planning Street for- Google Maps app, tap a place marker at the <laughs> bottom. Tap the place name or address, then scroll and select the photo labeled Street View or the thumbnail with a Street View icon. Uh, Android on um, Google with Google Voice heard my mentioning Google Street View and uh, it began to um, offer some resources for accessing Google Street View on an Android smartphone. Uh, so minute 18, how could uh, World University and School with our academic medical centers and Avatar Bot electronic medical records plan for 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number and in all 200 countries and in their main languages to begin. Uh, minute 19, uh, Stanford Law Codex on Thursday, May 19th, two days before monthly business meeting and which these uh, news and question and, aid, I, and uh, answer agenda items are about uh, from May 21st. Uh, Executive Director Roland Vogel's language in this codex meeting seemed to uh, suggest uh, partnering and potentially with World University and School, um, but World University and School is waiting to learn more. And thank you, Roland Vogel, for saying that. I'm going to move now from World University and School in these minutes and this WS News and Question and Answer for June 6, 2022, uh, to our other wing, uh, to the WS uh, Corporation minutes. And um, first, uh, minute zero WS Corp having paid to the California Franchise Tax Board the WS Corporation taxes uh, for in November of 2021 and potentially receiving a green light with this to grow uh, after many, many years. Uh, World University and School is uh, glad to be. Uh, potentially moving forward with the California Franchise Tax Board. Uh, that's on the WS Corporation side. Also with the California Franchise Tax Board, minute 15 above, uh, we recently filled out the uh, nonprofit World University and School uh, California Franchise Tax Board Form 199 for the year 2019. So these are two uh, CAFTB recent developments. Glad we're working further with the California Franchise Tax Board. Uh, WS Corp Minute A. Uh, so WS seeks to focus on teaching and learning robots and robotics in our WS physical digital robotics educational services stores to become available in all 200 countries and in their main languages. So we will 
differentiate potentially our market in these regards? Um, and how can our, our market approach uh, with a focus on teaching and learning robots compared with many other, say, companies that are developing robots? How can our WS University Educational Services bookstore and robot stores learn from and potentially collaborate with Google's two no stores, the Google store NYC Chelsea and the new Google store in Williamsburg, New York. Further, they're both, those, both, those stores are both on the ground and they have a digital virtual component. And there seems like there's much potential for world university and school uh, to grow further, possibly in collaboration. Um, minute B, the WS Corporation seeks to facilitate a main single cryptocurrency such as Stanford Mind Pi, and for all 7.9 billion people, each a Wikidata pin number at you at World University to end poverty via UBI experiments and backed by most of 200 countries central banks and potentially in WS Wikidata and newly in WS migrating to Wikibase Cloud. And possibly because Wikidata and Wikibase Cloud are emerging out of uh, Wikimedia Germany and they have uh, moved forward, I think, in developing software for the German National Library, uh, housing these 7.9 billion you at World University and School um, Wikidata pin numbers in some connection with the German National Library, potentially. Um, Wikidata seems to be exploring cryptocurrencies as well. They recently posted a Twitter uh, uh, feed post about this. Uh, minute B1, cryptocurrency free money daily further. Uh, they have um, Stanford Mind Pi has posted their main net, M A I N N E T, information on, in the Pi app itself fairly recently. And may, main net may be the exchange where many cryptocurrencies. Uh, buy and sell things, almost like possibly dollars or euros. Stanford Mind Pi is in the main net. And um, on my application, Stanford Mind Pi coins are increasing second by second, potentially infinitely. And you can see some of these incremental increase pictures, some Twitter posts, minute B1. Uh, minute B2, uh, see the WS Corporation agenda item B2, which are also in these minutes below. Uh, minute B3, while the main pie identity verification process on the main pie app is developing and beginning, and you can check your pie app for this as well. When I went through the identity verification process once in full, it didn't work properly. And what I did was I downloaded a new Pi browser onto the smartphone, pi colon forward slash forward slash welcome dot pi from the mindpi.com forward slash SGK MAC uh, app that I have on my smartphone. And that's an invitation for you to get free money if you want. And I filled out the form with contact information, photographed my California state idea, ID, and took a, pic, a live picture, further part of their validation process. Validation costs one Pi coin. And people also receive one Pi coin when they start with the Mine Pi cryptocurrency app and with daily mining. So, this new app is uh, a KYC process, and it stands for Know Your Customer. 
And Pi apparently relies on a third party app or has been, but maybe that will change. And the identity verification request screen continues to pop up every day on my smartphone after I mine Pi further every 24 hours, even though I completed the identity identification identity verification process uh, once already, which uh, didn't work properly. So I'm waiting for MindPy to further develop the identity verification process and perhaps integrate it further with the Pi app as Pi as Pi itself as the Pi organization navigates its way forward with identity verification processes and potentially regarding all 200 countries and in their legal systems and even regarding protecting people via law and law enforcement and possibly at the state, federal, and international levels too. And as World University and School seeks to code for all 7.9 billion people on the planet and uh, potentially end poverty with UBI experiments. Uh, these are, this is a lot to navigate for all cryptocurrencies um, as uh, a currency might move from uh, paper sovereign fiat in any one of 200 countries or the euro in 28 or 19 out of 28 countries uh, to a digital currency. Um, so I imagine the MIT Digital Currency Initiative people in Niha Nariela and so many other uh, central banks around the world are focusing on some of these questions as well. Stay tuned. Um, Identity verification continues to be a key issue. Minute B4, very interesting uh, tweet from Phil Windley about off blockchain digital identity, verifiable credentials and the internet. So the main net uh, item B1 here, just above, I mentioned it, is the blockchain for uh, also Stanford mine Pi when an exchange is made, uh, a chain is added to the block. And that would happen, I think, on the mainnet blockchain. And these blocks form a chain and that creates a record. This record is anonymous, crypto cryptographically secure. Blockchain's an interesting new development. Well, this is about off blockchain digital identity, also important as these cryptocurrencies emerge and verifiable credentials. And I just encourage you to uh, check out Phil Windley's tweet, uh, as well as uh, this video by Evan McMullen, uh, Yale University grad, fascinating um, view of the off blockchain digital identity, verifiable credentials in the internet. Um, almost a bit trippy in its uh, interesting reasoning, thinking, use of language. Uh, check it out. Minute before, video link is there. The video, if you searched on it, would be the off-chain internet, decentralized identity and verifiable credentials, Evan McMullen. E-V-I-N-M-C-M-U-L-L-E-N. -L -L -E Minute C. Uh, WS received a further update on the migration journey to Wikibase Cloud and see item three above. And Wikidata with the new WS migration to Wikibase Cloud and the WS Press with this, we're partnering further. And that's applicable to the WS Corporation side too. And I think um, the uh, Wikidata and Wikibase Cloud may be partly interested in partnering with World University and School for the academic press, uh, publishing the books, on paper and a new format digitally and potentially in all 7,151 languages beyond the 300 languages that Wikidata is in already. Uh, maybe for other reasons as well, including the educational services stores, et cetera. Uh, minute D, last two minutes. Um, WS is hopeful that our um, WS Academic Press in 7,151 known living languages can publish books to at least pl two platforms, including old fashioned paper, potentially 
um, a WS VR platform, maybe in the back of our glasses and um, in new hardware uh, devices, tablets, uh, multimedia rooms surrounding us, uh, similar. I think Google Street View with Time Slider immersively, um, text in the sidebar, uh, even for us adding pictures and videos and 3D imagery to Google Street View, publishing from text in the sidebar to paper and digitally as well. Uh, Minute E, World University and School would seek to develop the following with robotics um, and regarding all its energy engineering components and aspects. And that's a WS solar air heater information as new product. This is in some ways for free heat, uh, kind of a solar panel to heating element. Uh, we would like to add robotics and in creating this box, in a sense, uh, we'd like to further potentially explore solar to humanoid robotics as well, uh, for example. So solar offers potentially free energy as well as free heat. And we're seeking to develop in the WS Corporation design, teams, faculty focusing on this on the academic side, um, and create such things as a WS solar air heater as a new product as well. Uh, there are a couple of them already in large online and on the ground stores. Uh, check out the links to Walmart and Nozama that are in minute E at the bottom. And that's the WS news and question and answer for Monday, uh, June 6, 2022. I'm Scott McLeod. Uh, next week, we'll be meeting again, which I think is Monday, June 13th. And until then, worlduniversityandschool.org is the website, twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H is the Twitter feed. See the at W-U-S press as well uh, on Twitter. Uh, meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is the email address. If you know of students who might be interested in online, uh, free to students, cc4ocw.mit.edu courses beginning September 1st, 2022. Uh, until next week, bye for now and uh, have a good week. This will be posted to uh, the new World University and School YouTube channel. Bye for now.